Chapter 1. The Granny Square Although its name defies its beauty, the Granny Square is one of the most delicious, versatile, and addictive patterns that exist in the world of crochet divas. Its possibilities are seemingly endless, and with that, the Granny Square becomes a creative mind stream, combined in colors, textures, and different yarns into an ever-growing pile of delightfully crafted squares is a joy to dive into. At their most beautiful, the squares are crocheted using subtle hues and rhythmically repeating colors within their design. At their most stunning, the squares are showing off in bright primary colors. At their most pleasing, they are created with like-minded shades and tints of the same color. Timeless in design, crafty in appearance, and a delight to every home, the Granny Square aims to please, dress up, and comfort the space it occupies. But the design has many more applications than the mere blanket. The world of fashion design heavily borrowed the square to arrange intriguing garments like sweaters, bikinis, ponchos, and skirts. The pattern swirls, subdues, and challenges every piece of clothing in a different way. A creation formed out of granny squares is always unique and a treasure to have. One of the wonderful advantages of creating with granny squares is their mobility. You can fill your little baggie with a few balls of yarn and take it along for the ride. Idle time can be filled with popping out a new square no matter where you are. If you are waiting at the bus stop, at a restaurant, in line for whatever reason, or even to pick up your kids from school. You can create a quick square while you stand still. If you are at social gatherings with friends or taking a break in the park, the little granny square will fill your time nicely and keep your hands busy. At the end of the day, you can add the newly formed treasures to the basket and your blanket will be done quickly. The most common reason to start a project with granny squares for all creators of yarn enthusiasts, be it that the divas crochet, knit, or weave, is the salvaging of leftover yarn. At one point or another, most of us find ourselves with a big basket of unused surplus balls of yarn in every shade and color. They are too treasured to throw into the trash, but yet there is not enough of any yarn to create anything new. So voila! There we have the birth of the granny square. In fact, the design dates back to the mid-1800s, which puts us right into the Victorian times. A company called Weldon's published a book of patterns, and one of the patterns featured the patchwork square. It was hailed to come in handy to use up the scraps of leftover yarn to create baby blankets, rugs, and other household goodies. If you grew up in the 1970s, chances are you owned a garment made out of the granny square. It enjoyed its famous resurgence, its way to the spotlight, and its awesome days of glory in the world of the 70s hippie culture. Beautiful colored squares adorned everything, from skirts to blouses to scarves and headbands. Its overuse constituted its fall from grace, and the square was shunned, as old-fashioned, and, well, yes, something grandmas and old people have laying around on their couch. The beautiful square retreated to the musty and dusty old couch and was forgotten. With the resurgence of the knitting craze in the year 2000, the granny square also celebrated a glorious comeback. Now more popular than ever, new colors, designs, and variations on the pattern adorn once again the garments and homes of our time. What was once dismissed as old-fashioned is now antique chic. The square is the perfect starting project for a newbie and gives ample opportunity for adaptations for the seasoned crochet diva. Our project, the Mayflower's Bounty, will bring joy to the beginner and satisfy the most seasoned crochet and knit diva yet. I hope you enjoy making your own beautiful heirloom using the trusty and tried pattern 
of the Granny Squares and Friends. Creating the Mayflower Bounty Here in our book, we will start with the easy and simple design of the Granny Square and venture on to the more complex variations, adding flowers and stars. Because this blanket can be accomplished by the first time crochet diva, or it can pose a challenge for the advanced goddess of the yarn. The last motif we will be learning is the knitted hexagon. Now you can stop at the square and assemble your beautiful Mayflower's bounty using all your nicely fitting squares, or you can go all the way and create the ultimate organic Mayflower bounty using many designs and techniques. Either way, this book will take you where you are able to go. Decorating with your crochet and knitwares around the house. Nothing is more fun than to give your house a mini makeover every now and then. Sometimes your old couch needs a little life, or your bedroom could use a little romance, or your dining room bench would love to have some fun. Color adds emotion, style, and character to your home. The fun part is that different colored blankets, pillows, and accessories can transform your space from boring to alive, from serene to brilliant, and from ordinary to exquisite. The drama of red, white, and black. Black and white, of course, presents the highest level of contrast, while complementary color presents the highest chromatic level of contrast. Working with black and white adds a level of drama and sophistication to every room. It also has the tendency to add formality and starkness. Pair the black and white zigzag pattern with a little bit of bright red, and wham, you have yourself a high-energy piece of artwork in the room. However, using a slight off-white can temper the dramatic effect, and using soft pillows with primary color combinations brings the energy to a nice and comfortable level. If you feel like experiencing a little bit of an energy boost, break out the blanket with high contrast color and it livens up every room. Just be sure it does not overpower the rest of the furniture. Happy Folklore Using many bright primary and secondary colors in your design brings a sense of happiness and joy to your house. Break out the margarita mix because the colors swirl with joy and delight. Yellow, violet, orange and green, red and blue all dance with each other in a bright sparkle of color bliss. Create a fun fiesta pillow or throw with this perfect color combo and bring life to every corner of the house. If you dare, you can paint and decorate your entire room with this explosion of color. But if you just need a little piece of happiness, just add a touch of color here and there for the joy of it. Bright flowers, hand-painted pottery, and artisan-woven blankets complete the feel of a happy corner in the home. Fair Isle Beauty My love of color finally brought me to the art of Fair Isle knitting. I always shied away from it as it looked too complicated to attempt and too beautiful to create. The Fair Isles are the most remote islands off the coast of the United Kingdom. True Fair Isle knitting is done with pure or hand-dyed Shetland wool, and its beauty is unparalleled to any store-bought yarn. However, I chose yarns in bright colors again, as they set off each other's pattern beautifully and the entire piece is vibrant and sophisticated at the same time. The tried-and-true pattern lends the pillow its serenity, and the choice of secondary colors adds life and vibrancy. This piece can make its home among many colors, and its beauty and versatility shines through any arrangement. You can cozy up the spot with some hand-knitted scarves and woven blankets. Candy Delight this simple blanket lends a piece of light summer fun to any couch or chair. The combination of the toned down colors take the design from vibrant to restful and nestled within its space. Even though all primary and secondary colors of the color wheel are represented in this piece, the subtle tints 
just quietly play with each other instead of screaming in your face. Decorating with soft colors adds pleasantry and familiarity to any room. Romancing the Lace Nothing whispers more of a romantic, beautiful setting than pillows and sheets etched with crochet lace. Once you pair your white linens with sweet Laura Ashley flowered bedspreads or sheets, you have the perfect backdrop to create a sweet, charming, and poetic environment to read novels, to have your tea, and to work on your crochet pieces. Whimsical pattern fabrics and the thoughtfully placed flower design on the china cups reminisce of old times where taking time for tea presented a moment to socialize and create. No matter what mood you are in or what feeling you would like to emphasize for the day, the ever-changing world of color will be your best companion in achieving your desired result. With a well-placed pillow or a creatively draped blanket, you can change your home from playful to sophisticated or from vibrant to romantic. Schedule yourself a play day and give the colors a whirl around your house.